I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the studio of dreams at Tor Nation Productions. Hello, Austin students. Today, Friday, May 1st, we are very proud to announce the 27th and final edition for the 2019-20 school year of Austin Weekly News. Welcome to the only place you can get your Austin-related news. I'm Mr. Neighbors, and here are your morning announcements. First, school news. Cinco de Mayo celebrates the defeat of the French army by Mexico at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. More importantly, it falls on Taco Tuesday this year. Sounds like an excuse for a Zoom fiesta. Also, over 40 students achieved perfect attendance from August through spring break. Certificates will be mailed to those students in May. Congratulations to those who qualified. Names will also be shared in a future edition of the parent newsletter, The Sphere. Sports news. This message is from Coach Hanchi, Coach Court, and Coach Bolden. Mild Mondays have been changed to make it out of bed by noon on Mondays for the remaining of the school year. That's about four weeks. Also, all athletic contests have been canceled for the remainder of the spring. Now, as we do every year, we like to send off our team's football helmets to be reconditioned. Sporting goods companies are sending them back now with new face masks. I know, cute, right? Core value shout outs. This week we want to do a special core value shout out to the entire eighth grade class for being united. They have been holding class-wide Google Hangouts with their teachers each week. Way to stick together. We also want to recognize these other students for being awesome. First, respectful. Addison Gonzalez and Sofia Diaz for being in dress code for the PTO photo shoot. Responsible. Kira Brown for taking out the trash. Ready to learn. Anshu Patel and Emily Menard for finishing every assignment by noon on Monday, and then reading books instead of playing video games the rest of the week. All students who receive a core value shout out, please take a selfie and post on Instagram with the hashtag AWSTEM. And finally, your weekly weird news. Today, Friday, May 1st, has traditionally been celebrated in Europe as a workers' holiday called May Day and a day to commemorate the beginning of spring. Students in European schools, when not in quarantine, will grab ribbons and dance around what is called a maypole. And that got me to thinking about our own lonely AMS flagpole, about our students stuck at home and forced to play games like polo or monopoly. I wonder if the Polio vaccine means more students can dance the polka around the maypole. And if staying home really does produce less pollution, helping the polar ice caps, I wonder, how fast do tadpoles triple before they are eaten by polecats? I apologize to the police if any of these random thoughts were impolite, bounced around like a trampoline, or were as polarizing as polygamy. I wouldn't want you to think I was a multipolar beanpole. So I bid you a polite adieu. <laughs>